Hi, I'm James, and today on the desk we have a Dell Inspiron 3268 desktop, and we are going to be replacing the hard drive with a solid state drive, which we have cloned using TrueImage. Now, our first job is to remove the two screws in the back of the case. With these removed, we can then pull the small handle on the top of the chassis, and this slides the top cover backwards. We can tape this off and position it out the way for later. We can then release these three clips at the front, and it is possible to remove the front panel with the system on its side, uh, but just for ease of visuals, we're going to stand it on its side, and then just opening this up like a door is enough to release the three plastic clips on the other side. We can then turn our attention to the hard drive and we are going to unplug the power and data cables and remove the two screws holding the drive caddy into the chassis. With that done, we can then slide the caddy and lift it out the chassis. With the hard drive removed, we then have another screw that we are going to take out. And then by pressing the small blue section at the top of the chassis, we can release the optical bay caddy and pull it forward then lift it up and pull forward. This gives us access to the memory modules underneath. In this case, we are not actually replacing this. We're just looking at how this can be done. There are two DIMM slots, um, and these are DDR4-24, and are released by pulling open the clips on the side of the module and fit back in, just press down so that they clip in and those clips close. We can then refit the optical bay caddy and slide it backwards, refitting the single screw to hold it in place. Having done this, we can then look at our replacement SSD. We are going to be fitting this into a small holder for the drive, and because of the mounting of the drive into the chassis, um, you want to use one of these adapters which lines everything up as if it is a standard 3.5 inch hard drive. So we only need the four screws for mounting the SSD. And we can then take the SSD and slot it in onto the SATA port in the caddy. This can be a little tricky on this one just because uh, you have to lift it up very slightly and then fit the screws into the base. Having done that, we can then take our drive and the caddy and then using our screwdriver, simply remove the two screws that hold in the hold hard drive. Slot those out the top and then slide in the SSD in its caddy. Uh, because this is thinner than the hard drive, you will need to lift it up a little bit to screw it into place, but the two screws should hold that firmly in the caddy. Now we simply slot the caddy back into position Refit the two retaining screws. OK, 
connect our power and data cables and we are almost done. Next we want to replace the front panel, placing it in on the right side first and then shutting it again like a door so that it clips firmly into place. Then simply taking our top panel, placing it on top and sliding it back on before replacing the two screws. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment. Give it a like if it's helped with upgrading your system and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.